In this episode, I'm showing you how to tie in a lure rig so that you guys can go throw some poles and try to catch an allure yourselves. Aloha guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing diving tips here in the Aloha State and this is a very highly requested video which is how to tie an allure rig. Now there's many different ways to catch allure, many different fishing methods to catch it but I'm just going to go over the most simple, basic, popular way to um, go allure fishing. So in this episode we are just going over how to tie the rig. In other episodes I'm going to go over all the gear that you need, how to throw the pole, all that kind of stuff. So don't worry this is just how to tie the simple rig. First off, what is an alua? Now an alua is any trevally that is over 10 pounds in Hawaii. You guys have probably heard of the term papil, which is anything less than 10 pounds. So anything over 10 pounds is an alua. Anything under 10 pounds is a papil. So the alua is like the staple of fishing and spearfishing even in Hawaii, especially shoreline. So it's really difficult to catch them. You have to have a lot of knowledge, a lot of luck, a lot of preparation and this is where it begins right here. So let's go over what you need really quick, starting with the leader, which is what you're gonna be tying to your hook. Now, you wanna make sure you use monofilament. Do not use fluorocarbon, because when you use thicker line, the fluorocarbon is just way too stiff, and it's gonna be hard to tie rigs. This is a good line to start with, Andy line. Um, you can even do these mill ends as a heavier pound test, but this is 80 pound, and this will last you a really long time. But 80 pounds, anything over 60 pounds you wanna go with with the lure because of the sharp reef, it can scratch and cut the line. Another mono I use, this is the 80 pound. I also use this quattro line. I don't know, I just really like the color of it. If you guys see my other fishing videos, I spool all of my reels with the quattro line, which you guys can see right there. It's just really awesome colors. And what I noticed with this line as well is that it's easier to tie than the standard monofilament. I'm not sure if that's just the way it's made or whatnot, but this is a 130 pound test. And I swear I can tie this just as easy as the 80 pound test. All right, again, this monofilament line is what's gonna be tied to your hook. So you wanna make sure you get some pretty decent line because all in all, this is what's gonna be catching your guys' fish. Now, as far as the hook size, I think this is a 20. Four. I'm not too sure. I'm not really good at hook sizes. I just know this is big enough to catch an alua. With alua's, you don't really need a huge hook. Let me show you guys one right here. If you want to get crazy and try to catch a megalodon, <laughs> you can fish with a hook like this. I even have some bigger than this, but if you really want to, you know, throw this out there, this is probably like a two, three dollar hook by itself. But if you guys want to go big, then you can throw a bigger hook like this. But you can use a smaller hook like this, anything oversized 22, I think is perfect for a lure unless you're catching a really, really big one that's gonna bend the hook, but you should get, be able to get away with this. Now, depending on the size of your hook will determine what size you wanna be using for your monofilament. So the 80 pound is about as heavy as I'll go with this hook, but for this hook, for instance, I could use the 130 pound easy and I could even go higher than that. I would just have to use a crimp at that point, which we'll go over in a future video um, with slide rigs. All right, so we did the leader, we did the hooks. Now it's on to the swivel. Whenever I go fishing, I like to put my hooks and the swivels in the same pack. So you wanna get a pretty decent sized swivel. I'm not too sure the size of this, but you can see in comparison to the hook, they look pretty solid. You don't want to get a really small um, swivel. Not only is this going to be harder to um, tie the rigs with because it's a smaller hole to tie it with through, but it's also going to be a little bit less resistant when you are trying to fight a big fish like an alua. So from the swivel, you guys are going to be tying a lead line. So this is what's going to be tied to your weight, which is pretty much going to be holding your bait in place after you cast it. For me, um, depending on the size of your guys' lead will determine how big or how heavy your um, pound test is gonna be for your lead line. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go over after the swivel is the lead. So depending on the size of your pole will determine what size lead you guys need to grab. 
These are the three most popular in Hawaii. You can pretty much find these at any fishing supply. This, I think it's called a bank sinker. Not too sure these aren't as popular. I, I've never really used this as much or have seen my friends use this, but I just picked it up just to change it up and I still haven't used it yet. This is the most popular one. This is like, I don't know if you guys call it a teardrop lead. I'm not really sure exactly what you guys call this one, but this is the most popular one, the rounded shape. And just because of the reefs, it makes it easier for it to pop out if it gets stuck. And if you guys know you're gonna be fishing in sandy areas, you wanna make sure you guys get a pyramid lead like this so it'll hold place inside of the sand. Your lead's not gonna be going, I mean your bait's not gonna be going all crazy with your pole. You keep your line tight and your bell's not gonna be ringing all crazy either. So make sure you guys pick the right size lead and make sure you guys pick the right type. And I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be closer to the pyramid than this one. Next thing you're gonna need is the lead line. So this is a 15 pound test, perfect for the four ounces. Depending on what size lead you are gonna get, I'd say the heaviest you wanna go is 20, 25 pounds. If you guys go really light, like 10 pounds, this thing will snap when you're throwing it. So 15 pounds, to 20 to 25 pounds is good. Just make sure it's not hev as heavy as um, your guys' leader because when you try to tighten it or if your line gets stuck, you're just gonna bust your whole rig, lose out on all that hard work you guys are gonna do. All right, so that's everything you guys need for this simple rig. Like I said, it's really simple. You don't need all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that this is a two-way swivel. You guys can also get a three-way swivel, one for the lead line, one for the hook line and one for your reel. I always do two ways, it doesn't really matter and I've never had any issues with this. So you have two options here, you can tie your reel line is obviously gonna go to one. You can either put your lead line here or your main or your hook line here and have the other one on this side. I prefer using your reel line and your hook line on the same one, but my cousin does it different. He puts his lead line um, and the reel line on the same part and then the hook line totally separate, so it's its own little thing. Um, it's all self-preference, it doesn't really make too much of a difference, I believe. All right, so I always start off with the hook line first, or the leader, and this is gonna be a very simple uni knot. I can go over this in a whole nother video, but if you guys just bear with me, it's not too difficult to figure it out, but I can get really detailed about it in a future video. So pretty much, you're gonna stick the line through the eye of the hook, you're gonna make a loop with the loose end, like so. And you wanna give it a lot of play, at least a few inches. I'd say probably like four or five inches minimum. Then you're gonna put this loop over the line that's connected to the rest of this, or to your spool, whatever you guys are using to tie your leader. And you're just gonna wrap this line over that one and back through this loop right here at least four or five times. The more the merrier, but you don't wanna to get too crazy because you will run out of line. Usually what I do is I'll just bite this end right here. Probably do that right now, actually. All right, very simple, kind of sloppy, but you guys get the idea of it really tight. That's not gonna go anywhere. Pretty confident that this is gonna land a fish and not break or come loose. So let's go ahead and cut off the excess right here. Perfect. Now, this is another important part, um, whether you guys wanna go a short leader or a long leader. Short leader is gonna be anything that is gonna be shorter than your lead line. A long leader is gonna be anything that is longer than your lead line. I think I see the perfect distance is about a foot, maybe a foot and a half max. So now we're gonna do a uni knot through the other side. So again, you're gonna put it through, make a loop like so, put that loop over the other line, and then you're gonna wrap it around here and through the loop you just created. All right, so this side is done as well. So again, both sides, uni knot, and I will go over that in another video. So I'm gonna cut the excess here. So now we have our leader all ready to go. Now let's do the lead line. And for this one, I like to start off with the lead, just like how I start off with the hook over here. Start off with the lead connected straight from our little mini spool right here. Again, 15 pound test for 
a four to five ounce lead and I'm pretty sure you can use a 50 pound test all the way up to maybe like a seven anything higher I would recommend getting at least a 20 and it's all based on what size leader you guys are using now 80 pounds is really heavy but you never know you might it's it's better to have heavier line than weaker line all right so for just in comparison let's see just how much longer I'm gonna make the lead line so you guys can't see it in full frame but it's about this is about a third the length of the lead line right here so that's perfect and again we're just gonna get shorter as we tie it let's cut this line right here and because this line is a lot smaller and it's not as important we'll just tie a simple blood knot if you guys have watched my video on that before um, if you guys haven't actually click this link right here let's go ahead and tie this so through here you're gonna wrap it six times one two you can just spin it like this you're gonna go through this bottom lip not the eye of the lead now the bottom loop right here and you're gonna bring that point to the loop you just created and pull and that's perfectly done right there so tighten it that's not going anywhere you don't want to tight try to mess with it too much because you will snap it especially if you guys are kind of strong all right so now that we've got this side tied let's go ahead and tie the end of this to the swivel and again we're going to do a blood knot <clears throat> now blood knots are a lot easier with smaller line with smaller pound test 15 pound test is perfect so again, six, seven times through the loop, not the eye, and back through this loop you just created. You can tighten it just like this. Make sure it's not gonna slide out. And perfect, now if this line gets stuck at all, <clears throat> you guys will just tighten your pull and this will break before your hook line does and your bait so you don't lose your bait and your hook line all in one now you guys again make sure this is a lot lighter than your leader this is 80 pound test so i don't have to worry about this 15 pound test that way if it gets stuck and you guys have a strong lead line as well as a strong leader you might lose the whole rig and lose a lot of your reel line so that's about it i'm gonna show you guys a simple method of storing it what i do is i like to wrap the excess lead line like this and this is a little hack that I've just actually learned or taught myself about a year ago so I just line up the eyes like this and then I stick obviously it's gonna determine or be determined by what size hook you're using so I stick these through like that then I got a perfect little allure rig ready to go now when I gonna go fishing I'm just gonna undo this right here then I'm gonna tie my reel line to that put some bait on it and throw it out so again this is gonna be one video on a series of videos so this is just the rig and another video I'm gonna show you guys all the poles the rig the reels and I'm gonna show you guys just actually how to throw out the rig with the bait and all that stuff in another video so hopefully you guys look forward to the rest of the series hope you guys enjoy this episode see you guys in the next one shoots mahalo see you later bye bye and thank you guys for all the support one quick announcement black friday is coming up and there will be a sale on fish and dive hawaii gear all of the fish and dive hawaii sales on top of the website are going to include a sticker and I'm talking about the exclusive sales which I'm going to announce on the Instagram so make sure you guys are following me at team fish and dive and have a good black Friday everybody be safe don't get trampled and I'll see you guys in the next episode all right bye bye